After Rolanda starred in Josua's feature film directing debut, he invited her on a road trip that became a tradition. Each December we, have a, we do a road trip down to Cape Town. Uh, so on our road trip down, I, I decided to plan a little uh, rendezvous in, in Hanwifu. And uh, I get out, grab my camera, which uh, the ring in the camera bag, and beautiful as the sun sets on one side, and we've got Hanwifu on the other side. Uh, I took the ring out. I turned around and there he was on his knees. And at first I thought he was trying to get something out of his bag and then I realized, okay, <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I saw the little ring and the box and he quoted a lyric out of... Jimi Hendrix. Yes. I'm tired of wasting all my precious time. I want it to be mine all mine. <laughs> oh, and then tears and that was that. And yeah. then we had a bottle of wine watching the sunset. Perfect. Yeah. The same spontaneity came through in a magazine shoot with Fanny Crenier. I've met Rolanda a couple of years ago on a sorry shoot, and ever since we just became friends. And what I really loved is the chemistry between her and Joshua just took flame in front of the camera. You didn't really need to direct them. The way they complement each other by holding in a natural way, the energy just floats beautiful. Rolanda has a romantic vintage style. Her brief to designer Suzanne Haynes was for timeless elegance, a champagne-inspired color, and minimal structure and volume. Okay, so there's a quite a bit of stuff happening here, but the idea is that it's simple, it's elegant, it's timeless. So what we did is hand cut all of the Chantilly to create this very soft detailing, and it just kind of looks like it floats on her. Same thing with her fascinator, again, very vintage. It's kind of a new take on a veil, and I think it's quite beautiful, and it frames her face beautifully, especially with her shorter hair. I always love a back of a dress. There's um, lots of covered buttons that go down her back. It's like they're floating again. So there's a lot of romance involved. There's a lot of just softness and femininity. Um, we also add a bow in and beautiful kind of rouging detail, which opens up into quite a wide train. But then again, that kind of swirls around her. The dress was pure Hollywood. The venue more like filming on location here at the old MacDaddy trailer park in the apple country of Elgin. People are moving away from traditional weddings. They're moving more towards country. They're moving towards more um, not so stuffy. So getting married outside is appealing um, or on the lake. And then also the, the environment that it's set in. I mean, the beautiful orchards around you. I mean, what more could you ask for? When the couple discovered this gem a few years ago, they decided that if they got married, this had to be the place. Josua's outfit factored in local conditions. So we're in Elgin. Elgin is about 40 degrees today or 32 degrees or something absurd. So when uh, I decided I wanted to get a suit made, I thought I'd want to get something that with a natural material. So we went for a raw silk uh, and a lighter color, you know, so it doesn't absorb the heat as much, just actually reflect it. While Rolanda is quite shy and introverted, around the outgoing Josua, she feels free to show her humorous side. I met Rolanda before Jos did actually at a wedding. And when I discovered that Jos was dating Rolanda, I couldn't believe it. I was I just knew. I was like, this this is it. Oh, man. He's he's calmer around her, he's more at peace, he makes better decisions, he's yeah, and they, they're always looking out that everyone else has a great time, you know, let things play out naturally, you know. Um, and sometimes, you know, they're the last to leave at a party as well, yeah. you know, because they're just having fun. Raised by his mother, Salomi Malharba, from the age of eight, Joshua was taught respect and the difference between friendship and romance. In Rolanda, he has both. As for her family, he quickly earned two big thumbs up. Family and friends have been central to their happiness. The bouquet was made by the bride's friend, and the ceremony was officiated by none other than Fani Marais, Rolanda's father. With so many stars of film and television attending, this too could have been a scene from a movie. I think they got together on the set of Volver Dance and the Skimmer, and I was also in that film. So I saw the whole thing play out, you know, and it was quite sweet to actually see them meet and fall in love. And then walking this whole path with them to today, 
yeah, it's like no effort, you know. It just makes it's no brainer. It makes complete sense. They sort of give me hope almost when you look at a couple like this. You know, all the people that they managed to to get together and and and, and tonight this special night and just just honouring that and and the, the celebration of life and happiness and laughter. There's always a lot of laughter with them. I hope that they will have a blessed life. I hope that they have fun. I think that's one of the most important things. I hope they live simply and travel light and that they will be able to support each other through this journey and uh, that it will be one huge adventure. Inside the quite Scandinavian minimalist timber and glass reception venue, the bride requested natural greenery and a look of flowers picked in the wild. I think they wanted to create a look that looked as if they did it themselves. You know, the kind of summer dinner at their house, things coming from the cupboards, being put out on the table themselves. They didn't want it styled, they didn't want it over the top. Um, a big thing is obviously Rolanda's vintage flair. Just keep in style with that. She collected all the little embroidered placemats herself, having scratches in aunt's cupboards, granny's cupboards, everywhere. So I think that's a real special element that was brought into the wedding decor. And our brief was to complement that. In an otherwise understated theme, the Champagne Tower stood out like the Eiffel Tower itself. A nod to Paris, the destination Rolanda most wants to show her husband. Bridesmaid Nadia Falfirkens was enchanted. Uh, Rolanda and I, we used to work together um, on a production called Binlandish. And yeah, since then she's moved on and uh, doing wonderful theatre and movies and television. So yeah, we became really good friends and I have loads of respect for her as an actor. Jojo and I have worked together making TV drama series, him directing, myself writing and producing. Um, for about five years now about, I think, we've been through vast amounts of screen time together. Not only with him directing, but also eventually in the last two series I did, also with him developing the narratives with me as well before I started writing the actual episodes. So we've sat across the dining room table for many, many hours together. The thing is they're both very um, passionate, human, people oriented people. And I think they uh, really reinforce each other to a massive degree. Um, you know, if you see them on their own, they both look a bit lost, actually. You put them together and really you see a team working. Presiding over my daughter's wedding was fantastic because uh, I do it for so many other people and this time it, I could really talk to her heart, you know, and, and she actually phoned me two weeks prior and said, no, no sermon, please, Dad. Please talk to us uh, from your heart. And that was wonderful. And uh, I think that worked for me and for, for the ceremony. Industry friends know that with Josua's nomadic filmmaking lifestyle, he's now ready to settle down. Being a missus, Mrs. Malarbe, Mrs. Marie Malarbe, I think. Malarbe Marie? Malarbe Marie, whatever. It feels <laughs> wonderful to, to, yeah, to be part of, of someone else, to be half-half. Um, I, for one, can't wait to complain and go, I'm sorry, my husband's really unhappy with this service. <laughs> because saying my boyfriend, ah, people don't really take you that seriously. <laughs> I get to take her home and keep her forever. I couldn't be happier, you know? Mm. That's the best thing in my life. We met on a film set, so to me our life is a bit of a, a movie, a love, a love story, and I hope it continues to be a movie with a happy ending. Whilst they'd like to grow old together, as artists they'll never retire. They want time for her to paint, him to be a photographer, and for them both to see the world.